So you got a stuck case. Good, because I do too. And I don't feel so bad because there's two of us. We're gonna get this stuck case removed from this guy. This was not due to not enough lube on it, I don't believe. I think it was due to, to someone going just a little too fast and then pulled it down and there wasn't any resistance. I have this sweet RCBS case puller. So the first thing we have to do is we have to get out the next sizer D-primer tool. So you slide that on there. When you buy the kit, it gives you a couple different versions, okay? You get one for a, a smaller, so for like if you're reloading 223, then you have the bigger one for everything else. Now, I'm gonna try to get out your knuckle buster right here, and you're just gonna spin this around until this uh, pulls it out full, right? So bam, bada bing, bada boom. Got this out. Look, that looks like it's still in pretty good shape. I'm not too worried about it. Nothing looks bent. So now we just pull this off. Yeah, you know what? If you've got some nuts and stuff, I'm talking about different kind of nuts. <laughs> okay, you can get by. Now, the difference on this is it's a little bit taller. It's hollow in there. So as this, as this goes up and you run out of threads right here, you can, you know, if, if you just have a standard nut on there, you're gonna stop right about there. Okay, the next thing you do is it gives you, in that same kit, you get two different sizes of rods, okay? Should we get out the big Mamba Jamba right there? That's weak sauce. Let's get out the Vaughn. I'm gonna use a smooth end. I'm gonna put it down inside the neck, through the neck of the case to the bite base. And then this side's already been used. That's because about 10 years ago, I didn't use enough lube and I got stuck. Just tap this out. Luckily, this one had lube on it. Not too hard to get that one out. Oh, that might be the problem there. So there was a 30 out six case. It has now been neck down <laughs> to seven millimeter. That's the problem. Okay. Yeah, so that slid into there, but it never engaged because that's a seven millimeter base right there. In case you're wondering, okay. You only use seven millimeter mag and a seven millimeter mag die and shell holder. If the case looks a little bit funny, maybe doesn't look right, a little wobbly, a little wonky, you don't put it in there. But, I mean, look at that, that's a beauty. Here's the deal, same process. It don't matter if that's a 7mm or a 30 6 shell in a 7mm holder, it's the same principle. Check this out, 7mm, 30-06, slightly different. This is how the 30-06 case should look. That's how the, uh, the new, we're gonna call that uh, OBS modified. This is gonna be the new big deal in Wildcat rounds. When reloading, you can't just get into a mode and just start going. You always need to be paying attention. So when you're resizing dies, every time you're picking this case up, you wanna be looking for cracks, bulges, splits, stress marks, anything that would indicate that there's something with it. If you have any question about a case, don't use it. Uh, chuck it, recycle it, whatever you want. You guys have a great night, a great evening, and be careful when you're reloading. If you are not careful, you could end up killing you or someone you love. Or, well, ooh, now there's a plan. I don't know if you quite see, there's just that slight little line right there. But all of a sudden, all the ones that are coming out afterwards, the case net just seemed just a hair tight. And and all the ones before had no problem. What I think happened is when we had that case stuck in there, this was down inside, when it got pulled stripped out, even though that's still, this is brass, I think that it put just enough pressure on the expander that it made it so it just wasn't working optimally. So this, this goes together like so. That's how that is. Um, slide that out. I'm gonna take this pin out here and save that. So don't lose it and I'm just gonna order me a new 7mm expander for that that should hopefully solve all the problems on that and bring us back to where we want to be but uh, everything else didn't see any issues with that